many. Don't count. Today you are going to practice your estimation skills with numbers up to 500. You will also create geometric patterns. Activity 1. Your parent will place a pile of dried beans or beads on the table. Do not count all the beans. You must rather look at them and estimate how many beans you think there are. If you find it difficult to estimate how many beans you think there are, to help you, you can take out 10 beans. Have a look at the pile of 10 beans that you have made. Compare it to the pile of all the beans that are left. This should help you guess how many beans there are in the bigger pile. When you are done with your estimation, you can then count the total number of beans in the big pile. Don't count in ones. This will take way too long. Try maybe counting in fives or even tens. Was your estimate correct? Activity 2. How close was your estimated number of beans to the actual number of beans that you counted? How can we calculate this? You first write the number of beans that you estimated. For example, you may have estimated that the pile contains 500 beans. Next, you write the number of beans that you actually counted. For example, you may have counted that there were 482 beans in the pile. We want to now find the difference between these two. So we are going to subtract 482 from 500. This leaves us with 18 beans. So the difference between your estimate and the actual number of beans was 18. To be good at estimation, you want the difference between the estimated number of beans and the actual number of beans to be as small as possible. Remove the pile of beans and make a new pile with a different number of beans. Do an estimation again and then count the beans. See if your estimate is better this time. Activity 3. Look at this pattern. Describe the pattern. In your description, think about the shape and the size of the shape. We can describe it by saying that this pattern is made up of squares that get bigger and bigger. This time, you must draw a pattern made of triangles that get smaller and smaller. Do this now. Your pattern should look like this. Can you see how the triangles get smaller and smaller? See what other patterns you can create. That's all for today.